Hey guys, welcome to Spooky Oaky Podcast. My name is Catherine. And I'm Madison. And today we have a spooky episode. Yeah, this one's one of our like short spooky stories. So we each picked a spooky story and we're going to tell you. I'm excited. Me too. Mine's very short though. <laughs> so I'm a little <laughs> nervous about that. Um, It's okay. I'm excited that you're going to talk about yours because I always see yours listed on like every yeah. site that lists like all the spooky places in Oklahoma. Yours is always listed. So yeah. I can't wait to hear about it. Well, that's the crazy thing is like, even though it's always listed, there's not that much information about it. That's crazy. There's like a couple of things and that's basically it. But I was huh. like, we well, have to cover this at some point because yeah. it is like always listed. Right. So, Makes sense. Yeah. Am I going first? Yeah. Okay, great. Cool. My <laughs> mic is like in my face. Oh, by the way, um, I have a cold. So sorry, listeners, that my voice sounds funky, but I... Okay. It doesn't sound like as bad as you think it does. Okay. On our testing, I was like, oh, I sound awful. So. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. I guess let's get started. All right. Let's hear it. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to talk about the Blanchard Cemetery. I'm excited. It's on every list. It's on every list, and I've never looked into enough to know what it's about. I really want to go. I, yeah. I really want to go. Let's do it. We have a, I want to go to mine too. So we got a couple places. Good. We say that about every single place we talk about. We're like, we're going to go. I know. This summer, we got to hit a lot of spots. I know. Man. Okay. So my sources are Unique Lahoma, which I think is so cool. That's awesome. I love that. Um, Only in your state and a hauntedplace.com. Nice. So. Here we go. I think I have with no. my one page of notes, basically. I thought I had the what was yours? A a haunted place? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I have haunted places. Oh, so close. So close. Okay. So far. <laughs> All right. So Blanchard. That's the town we're talking about. It's about 30 minutes south of Oklahoma City. Okay. Ish, depending on traffic. An article said 30 minutes, but I was like, depends on where at in the city. Yeah. But and it's south? Anyway. Mm-hmm. Why did I think it was west? I don't know. No, it's south. It's like uh, south Towards, of Norman. Okay. Like it's one of those little towns around. Oh, Norman. okay. I don't know why. Like Blanchard, Newcastle, what all of those are kind of around of? the same area. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Okay. I don't know. Not Blanchard, apparently. Not Blanchard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So it's like it's a pretty small town. Uh huh. With a very spooky cemetery. All right. I'm excited. Me too. So the Blanchard Cemetery was established in 1917. It's a 20-acre lot, which is divided into two sections, but section one, I haven't seen anything about any hauntings in section one. Really? Like, it's just, like, chill, and then section two is just, like, party all the time with these apparitions. <laughs> section one was just a lot of, like, happy folk that just died in their time and are like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to just peacefully uh-huh. disappear. And section two was like, nah, I got a lot of life left. To yeah, live. I'm not done here. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'd be like, very section two yes section two is where the fun is at that's where the party is okay so um section two is the part that's famous for its hauntings all right um there are no historical events records or even urban legends that explain why this particular cemetery is so haunted really like there's no no reason why this cemetery is haunted so we just need to create an urban legend yes okay all right all right i'm ready for this that's our task okay so um, it's become a very popular place for paranormal investigations, apparently. And it also makes every list of haunted places. So if there's been a lot of paranormal investigations. I'm surprised we don't know more of, of the history of, the of history. it. Yeah, I know. I mean, we know like a little bit and we uh-huh. have guesses as to like who the apparitions are and stuff. Uh-huh. But like, that's about it. <laughs> we just don't know a lot. Okay. Yeah. So the most, we're just diving right into the ghost because that's really all that there is yeah like there's not any history at all we don't know why it's haunted who knows it's just a random cemetery but it is i'm all for it so the most famous ghost at blanchard cemetery is the tall man (laughs) which i really don't like that stresses me out why does it remind me of like slender man i know i think that's i think that's why i don't like it not a fan this mic is literally in my face the heck okay i'm lowering it a little bit (laughs) um (laughs) So, under a grove of oak trees in Section 2, people have reported seeing a tall young man wearing a dark trench coat and a top hat. I don't like that. It's either, like, very sweet or very creepy. Yeah, it, honestly, when I think of it, um, a tall man with a dark trench coat and a top hat, I immediately think of Ebenezer Scrooge. <gasps> yeah, that makes sense. 
That's immediately yeah. what I think of. Yeah, it sounds creepy. Like <laughs> it's like it's like, the top hat. Yeah, it. it's the top hat. There's something like unsettling about it. See, for me, it's the coat. Really, for me, it's the hat. It's too out of place. Like mm-hmm. you can see somebody in a trench coat, and like people still wear them today. I know, but they still but give up hat? creepy vibes. Well, yeah, that's true. I don't know. So I think it's the top hat for me. Yeah, for me, it's the coat. It's like what's under the coat. Mm-hmm. What's under the hat? (laughs) A rabbit. A rabbit. (laughs) Cute little rabbit. (laughs) Maybe some birds. (laughs) Some birds. Little bird things that never stop. (laughs) No, that comes out of their sleeve. Oh, so sorry. (laughs) Did you recognize? So sorry. I messed up my... (laughs) Don't you know we're also a magic show? Oh, yikes. Okay. I can't do any magic. Oh, darn. You have to find a new co-host okay <laughs> okay anyway so sometimes the tall man is seen um walking beneath the trees okay but other times he leans against one of the trees which is really creepy to me i'm like what are you waiting for or he's trying to do that like sexy pose that's it that's it he's trying to get his sexy afterlife he sure is he that's going. why he's hanging and that's why he's staying around that's why he's staying around he didn't succeed with the sexy thing in life so he's trying mm-hmm. for the afterlife part he's doing the you know sexy he needs to lose Crossed the trench arms. Coat. I know. The trench coat throws it all off yeah. if you're trying for the sexy pose. Yeah. Maybe we should go give him some advice. Yeah. Okay. okay. We need to go and talk to Good. We'll Mr. Tallman about Yes. Yep. So. <laughs> so dumb. Okay. So the urban legend is. <gasps> okay. Let's make up our okay. urban legend now. So he was the kind of um, misfit outcast of the community who loved the popular um princess like uh-huh. girl of okay. the town yeah always and, going for the ingenue yes okay. and um he one dark stormy night um he went to go ask her for her hand in marriage and he died along the way oh no and so he's constantly working on his game in the afterlife to propose to her when they meet again mm, okay i love it great <laughs> we just made it up all right that's the that's, that's... the official urban legend now <laughs> spread the word <laughs> and his name is um it has to be old-fashioned he's in the uh-huh, top hat uh-huh um john willow Ooh, that's a good one it's, i like it john willow okay great anyway that's the official story. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> so, uh, John Willow, <laughs> aka the tall man, uh, he usually just stands there with his hands in his pockets. Mm-hmm. Except, okay, listen, one article I read said that he stands with his hands in his pants. And I was like, I think you should change the wording on that. Then I that, don't think that's what you think it means. Because then that brings a whole different vibe to the yeah, French coat. Yeah, then I'm not not a fan. Then we're not a fan of John just- No. <laughs> But see, I think of the hands in the pockets, and I'm thinking, yeah, like sexy pose, sexy pose. You know the. I really like that you're showing off your like half oh, outfit. Oh yeah, this is my half sweatpants on. <laughs> <laughs> Watch us on YouTube, folks, to get the full experience. Oh yeah, yeah your audio only. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, you're missing out. Go to YouTube. <laughs> um. Anyway, he stands with his hands in his pants. But mm. probably in his pockets, That's most likely. Pockets. Um, uh, we're hoping. Yeah. Pockets. So other times, though, he has been known to wave at visitors. Oh, that's sweet. I don't like that. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, not a friendly ghost. I'll be back. <laughs> so, well, here's the thing: is like some people think that like when he waves to people, uh-huh. he's trying to get them to come to him so he can possess them. Oh well, that's not good. That's the thought. Mm. I mean, hopefully not. I mean, I don't like that. <laughs> I want him to be a good guy. But it's creepy to me. Do I smell sulfur? Because that makes it seem like... I don't know. Possession, there like... weren't any reports of any smells. Okay. So I, I don't know. Say, if there was any weird smells, then that's a demon. But That's true. But maybe not. Yes. Don't know. But sometimes he'll wave at people. Which okay. other people have been like, oh, yes, a friendly ghost. But I was like, that just seems creepy because I don't like that it's intelligent and sees me. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's like true. it's acknowledging me. Yeah, it knows I'm there. I don't like that. Yeah, 
That's true. I don't like it. Okay. Anyway, um, so witnesses claim that a bright blue light will appear before the tall man shows up. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. That doesn't seem demonic. No. Me. I haven't heard of that before. Me neither. Demons. Me neither. So, okay. Maybe he's a good guy. Who knows? Um, the light will then suddenly become dim when he like shows up. It'll like get bright and he'll show up and then the light will just like dim. Oh, Isn't he's that a, cool? So he's like practicing his special effects he too. He sure is. He's a performer. He's a magician. He's a, magi- he's a magician. He's a magician. Oh my gosh. We figured it out. <laughs> okay. We got to have a new backstory okay. now. New urban legend. And go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So John Willow mm-hmm. is a magician. He is. Yes. Um, and, and he fell in love with a beautiful girl in Blanchard. Named Blanchard. Yes. In Blanchard. This is in Blanchard. Yeah. Yes. And Blan- he wanted Blanchard. Blanchard was his assistant. Oh, okay. The girl. Yeah. Right. We said her name is Blanchard. I said it in Blanchard. Oh, I thought you were saying she was Blanchard. I don't think so. I think that's too much. Okay. What's her name then? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay. So John Willow, the magician, and his assistant Elizabeth. He loves Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. And so he tries to win her over with his game. Mm-hmm. And then she kills him. <gasps> oh, plot twist. I didn't see that coming. Plot twist. One of his acts where he's supposed to magically be sawed in half, she actually saws it in half. I like it. Okay. I was going to go with. You want to hear my version? Yes. Hold on a second. Not that. Get down. <laughs> the cat was on the counter <laughs> sorry <laughs> you don't want to cut that because i just screamed in people's ears yeah, you did. You sure <laughs> i did. literally like lean like, <laughs> thank you for- <laughs> here's Catherine screaming in your ears <laughs> oh gosh okay. nobody's listening anymore no. <laughs> Um, so my urban legend okay. is going to be that he was a traveling magician okay. and he came to town and fell in love with like the daughter of the wealthiest family in town Yes, and she was in love with him too. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. But when he wanted to propose, her father was like, absolutely not. But then Elizabeth just never got over it. Uh huh. And so he that her father decided to take matters into his own hands and have john okay. willow killed oh. so that his daughter's reputation wouldn't be ruined wow and so, so the, he's just waiting for her forever and his blue light is his calling to her mm-hmm. to try to call her back it to is. Him. And i like that one better I like that it. one's good thank you thank you that's the new official urban legend everyone. okay okay so we've got the blue light got the blue light we've got okay. our new urban legend okay we got it all figured out. Um, so others say that weird noises can be heard before seeing the tall man, but they don't say what the noises are. And I really want I don't, to know. I don't like that we don't know what the noises yeah, are. Yeah, nobody no said. They just said. They just said weird noises. But there are so many different noises it could be. Yeah. We know nothing. Okay. So we have to go for ourselves, apparently. Yeah, we got to go for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this one's a little creepy. This one I don't really like. Um, okay. So visitors that have been to Blanchard Cemetery multiple times claim that the tall man becomes more aggressive during repeated visits. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. I thought he was just like, chill, good guy. But I don't know. It's a little strange. Okay. I might have to revamp the urban legend again. <sighs> Not again. Let's get through the notes okay. and then we will. Okay. Maybe we'll get more okay. clues yeah, about let's... who he is. Yeah. Okay, so in a few instances, he has brandished a knife at onlookers. Others say that he'll wave people to come over to him, which they believe is how he might possess people. Mm, okay, so that's not nice. Nope. Hmm. Um, no one is quite sure why the shadowy figure appears specifically under the trees of Section 2. Some believe it is the original caretaker of the cemetery, and he's guarding his family, who also rests in the cemetery. Huh. Maybe, but I don't know. Mm. it's that's not as exciting it's not as exciting no i'd rather come up with our own story because like why not it's ghosts yeah we can make it up um maybe there's an element of um okay so he's meeting with his love Mm -hmm. under the trees (gasps) yes 
and a group of jealous men from the town come by and mock them Mm -hmm. and then they leave they come back Mm -hmm. again they've been drinking this time Uh oh and they kill the two okay out of jealousy nice okay and so he's doesn't like repeated visitors because he thinks that something I like that you added the like repeated element into Uh that that Uh was a good one Uh that was a good one yeah Okay, I was going to go with, um, he fell in love with Elizabeth. Uh-huh. All that stays the same. Yeah. Um, but then her father meant to have him murdered. Didn't realize they were together under the trees. Oh. But she was shot instead of him. Oh, okay. And so now, and she's buried there too. And okay. so now his aggression is trying to protect her because he couldn't protect her the first time. <gasps> I like that. Mm. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. We are both coming up with very good urban legends. <laughs> Maybe that should be our next podcast. We just <laughs> made up urban make legends. Up urban, urban legend. <laughs> or we find real ones, but then we, like, one of us finds one and one of us makes one up. And then yes. we have to, like, figure out, like, we're like, okay, everybody, which one's real, which one's fake? I like it. Yes. Let's do it. I like <laughs> You're it. You're getting it first, folks. We're having a spinoff. Spin-off, I guess. Because we have so much extra time to do two podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, TM, TM, TM. Nobody yes. take our idea. Nobody take our idea. Okay. okay. Anyway, we have one more ghost to talk about. All right. There I'm is excited. another ghost here. Okay. So another well-known ghost is the ghost of a little girl. Oh, Which always okay. makes me either sad or scared because- I'm A little bit nervous. Either a child died and that's sad or it's a demon posing yes. as a child, which is also very possible. So, people have reported hearing the anguished cry of a small child. Oh, I don't like I that. Which I really don't like at all. It makes me very sad. Other people have reported seeing her, quote, frolic through the graves in her burial robe. Don't which like I that. Really hate. Like, I don't like about, that. Something about frolicking through the yes. graves really gets me. Um. Yeah, I just expect creepy music to be playing. Yeah, I don't like it yeah, at no. all. Uh-uh. It's very creepy. Uh-uh. Okay, so there is an urban legend about her. Okay. We don't know a ton. There's like a couple sentences and that's basically it. Okay. But urban legend says that this little girl wandered out of her home one night during a storm. Nobody okay. knows why she left her home during a storm as right. a small child. Okay. Which is a little weird. Like it's already not adding up. Um, and it's believed that she made her way to, like, the creek or river and was swept away. Okay. Two days later, her body was found washed up on the bank two miles from where she had disappeared. Okay. And that's all we know. What would make more sense would be if she had wandered away from home playing during the day. Mm. A quick storm came up. Yeah. And she wasn't paying attention because it's a, she's a child. Yeah. And um, there was enough rain up above mm. the yeah flash flooding came swept her away yeah that makes sense that would make more sense than my other guess was she was actually kidnapped during the storm that would and also murdered and then her dumped body was in, dumped the... in the river and so nobody dumped. realized what had actually happened yeah because it was said what two weeks later uh two days oh two days yeah. later okay so it would have been pretty quick but yeah anyway that's the Blanchard Cemetery ending on a not happy note. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, <laughs> because when do we ever end on a happy note? Very rarely. <laughs> um, I want to go, though. I know. It's so creepy. And it's a cemetery, so, like, we can just go. Yeah, and we need to go multiple times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See if he gets more aggressive. Yeah. I don't know that I really want to do that, <laughs> but uh, sure. <laughs> we'll have to, like, bring back up or something. <laughs> um. All right. Well, are you ready for mine? I'm so ready for your story. Okay, so I kind of have t- two stories. One Good, very you mine short. short. Um, so I'm going to talk about the town of Skyatuk. Okay. So Skyatuk is 22 minutes north northwest of Tulsa. The town's population is 8,560 as of 2021. Good job. Good research. Yes. <laughs> The nearby Skyatuck Lake provides ample opportunity for water recreation activities. Well, that sounds fun. Yes. <laughs> sounds good so far. <laughs> the town was founded by William C. Rogers, the chief from 1903-1907 of the Cherokee Nation. Oh, cool. He founded Skyatuck when he established a trading post on the south bank of Bird Creek 
two miles north of the present town site. Okay, cool. The settlement was named Skyatook when a post office opened there in 1872. Cool. In March 1905, the Midland Valley Railroad reached town, connecting the community with the nation's railway system. And the coming of the railroad resulted in moving the settlement, part of which is now located in Osage County. Um, so, like, it's partly in Tulsa County, it's partly in um, okay. Osage County. Okay. So, that kind of moved it so that now it's mm-hmm. in two counties. Cool. Skyatook was incorporated on May 28th of 1905. Okay. So, two years before statehood. Yeah. Nice. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. I question myself. I don't know that. much, but I do remember that. Okay. <laughs> Skyatook's first school started in 1905. Okay. The same year. Nice. Um, Skyatook is identified with timbered, rolling hills, natural gas and oil production, fertile farms and ranch land, Skyatook Lake, and an expanse of tall grass prairie. Not to mention a spooky place. Oh, yay. So, there's two places I'm going to talk about in Skyatook. Okay. One is spooky, and one's just kind of a strange, cool spot. Okay. So, the strange spot is called Healing Rock, or TP Rock. Okay. Healing Rock stands 12 feet high, has a 17-foot base, and is 14 to 16 inches thick. So, and it forms a triangle. Oh, cool. So, a lot of people thought that it had been carved that way. Like, mm-hmm. the people had man-made mm-hmm. it. But archaeologists have looked at it and they've said, nope, it was naturally formed oh, in the shape. Interesting. Um, so um, when they planned to make Skyatook Lake, so Skyatook mm-hmm. Lake is a man-made lake. Okay. The um, Corps of Engineers realized that the way the lake was going to be formed, that rock was going to be covered in the water. And <sighs> the town um campaign together and mm-hmm. they said no we've got to move it we've got to yeah. save the rock i love it <laughs> and so it was moved from its original site so that it would not be covered by the water and uh-huh. now there's a trail that you can oh, like they've made a trail yeah. so that you can go to the rock and cool. see it um the importance of this rock is that it was considered a healing site by the osage and quapaw indians mm-hmm. in the late 19th century Okay. So they would yeah. take tribe members to this rock if they were injured or sick, and they would lean them against it, and it would help heal them. That's so cool. Yeah. I love it. Now, my thought is, now that it's moved, it probably is not going to do anything. Oh, no. <laughs> that would be my thought. Wow, yeah, we just... We moved it from it. We just drowned <laughs> the healing spot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> my thought is, it's probably not just the rock. It's probably, like... Like where it was located. Where it was located. Like the energy around it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. We and just that that drowned was... the healing energy. <laughs> and that that was, um, you know, its way of transporting the energy yeah. into a person. Yeah. But. Yeah. Like, it's like a triangle and it's like mm-hmm. kind of funneling all the energy in. Yeah. Well, shoot. So. Thank you. What I said about <laughs> white men. Yes. For drowning. Yes. The healing place. Okay, great. <laughs> so that's all about the healing room. Okay. Um, that's cool though. <laughs> Isn't it neat? Yeah. Like, it's literally, it's on. I wish it had been in the same spot. Why didn't they just make the lake somewhere else? I know. I'm like, can't we just have figured out how to, like, slightly move the lake? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Move I... the lake, not the rock. I know. Um, if, you're, if you're going to make the lake anyways. Yeah, you are you still have to make it. You haven't done the work yet. <laughs> make it make differently. Make it in a different place. <laughs> I don't know much about making lakes. Maybe it's harder. Me neither. That, but... I'm not a make building <laughs> professional. So... The next place is the spooky place. Okay. This is the witch's grave. Ooh. So this is a grave in Hillside Cemetery. It's from the late, either the late 1800s or the mm-hmm. early 1900s. Not exactly sure. Hillside Cemetery sounds so familiar. Really? Yeah. I wonder if I've seen it on the list. You might have. Because it's typically listed like witch's grave, Hillside Cemetery. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Um. So the grave is said to belong to a man by the name of Park Hill, whose wife practiced black magic. Love her already. Yes. (laughs) Her husband became sick and she tried every spell she knew to Mm -hmm. try to heal him. Mm -hmm. However, it did not work. Oh no. Her husband died and she tried to bring him back to life. Oh no. So the town buried him. Uh Uh-huh. But she was like, no. And she 
dug him she back dug up. Him up. Oh, she dug him up. No. And then she tried to do it again. And the town people were like, no. And they reburied him. Oh, no. <laughs> and she said, no. And she dug him up again. This poor man's body is <laughs> being put through so much. <laughs> she tries to bring back to life again. And the townspeople were like, no. <laughs> you rebury him. And she says, again, how many times? Times? Oh my goodness. <laughs> she brings him back, <laughs> tries to bring him back to life. And the town people are like, we are sick of this. No. So they bury him and then they pour cement over his okay. grave. So this is a long cement grave. Uh -huh. So like coffin shaped cement mound, basically Whoa. in the ground. Um, so she was enraged at this, that she could not dig him back up again. 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 That's a lot of work. <laughs> That's a lot. Is she doing this by herself? Yes. <laughs> My goodness. She's dedicated at least. I'll give her that. She is dedicated. So she true love, man. She right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how much I love somebody, I'm not digging them up. No, I'm so. not either. Sorry. <laughs> um, so the witch was enraged and she cursed the grave so that anyone who so much as touches the grave risks being possessed by a demon. <gasps> That immediately makes me want to go touch the grave. <laughs> that is my toxic trait. Is somebody is like, you can't do that. And I'm like, watch, watch me. <laughs> I sure will. If not, if the person isn't possessed by a demon, they could be cursed with a horrific tragedy and or a loss of loved ones for the remainder of their lives. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. So I'm not going to try it. Yeah. If it was just possession by a demon. Listen, like... I would have some holy water there and I'd give it a shot. <laughs> but like. No. Can't mess with anybody else's lives, too, you know? Yeah. So there are words engraved on each side of the cement mound that some say the dying witch carved out with her fingers. That got me. <laughs> I don't like that at all. It's like, ooh, nails on a chalk. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know why that got me so much. So on one side, it says he is dead. Oh. And on the other side, it says, bring him back. <laughs> Ooh, it's like her saying, yeah. Uh -huh. oh. The town being like, he is dead. And then she's like, bring him back. <laughs> yeah. Creepy. Creepy. I love that. Okay. But some say, oh. some say this is from the Bible verse, Samuel, Second uh, Samuel 12, 23. Mm -hmm. But now he is dead. Wherefore should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he shall not return to me. Okay, maybe. But I like the witch carving it with her fingers. I know. More. It's a much better story. I think so, too. Uh, <laughs> additional legends say that after pouring the cement over the grave, the townspeople still could not keep her out of the cemetery. Like, she kept going there, even though she couldn't think of it. I feel bad for her. I know. And so they were tired of her crap, and they finally just hung her up in the tree <laughs> that's by the grave. <laughs> oh, Poor thing. She was <laughs> grieving. I know. And they were like, yeah, you've done enough. Like, they said, done. you're annoying. <laughs> you're said... trespassing. We're going to kill you. Yeah. People are awful. Yeah. I'm surprised they hadn't already killed her for being a witch. I know. Honest. I am too. They were like, listen, we gave you enough grace with the being the witch part. Yeah. But now you're annoying us. Now you're trespassing and that is too much. <laughs> Literally crossing the line. Um, so most who come uh leave coins flowers and other offerings to avoid the witch's curse and appease any dark spirits mm -hmm. or demons who may be present i would leave something yeah a ghost of a young boy is also spot mm -hmm. spotted near the grave hey most people say that this young boy disrespected the grave <gasps> and when he was driving home he got in a car crash and died. And now he's trapped there forever. And now he's, his spirit is trapped there forever. I love it. Yep. So many have reported rocks being thrown at them after missing. Oh, the that's aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know she said demon possession and death, but like throwing rocks is too much. <laughs> Some people have reported hearing strange noises. Again, no explanation of what the strange noises that are. That bothers me. If you guys... Listen, if you're reporting there being strange noises, I need a description. Yes. We need to know what you think the strange right. noises are. Is it like animalistic noises? Does is it, it item like? moving noises? Right. Is it like rattling? Like what is what happening? kind of noise? 
anyway um feeling somebody touch them (gasps) and even forceful grabs from unseen hands well that's just rude (laughs) personal space yes but i think all of this is after somebody has messed with the grave okay so don't don't mess with graves period yeah you've been warned yeah this is just somebody you know yeah putting extra protection on their grave yeah but i can't blame her for that can't blame her either so and that's my story and i did not read my Very sources nice. oh read your sources so we don't get <laughs> okay. sued by you know the two people that listen <laughs> okay so okhauntedhouses.com only in your state.com oklahoma mysteries facebook page zn4 sorry not did not say that right z94 um I watched a YouTube video by who was that? Uh, Wes DeHart. Cool. Um, TulsaPeople.com, HauntedPlaces.org, OKHistory.org, and TravelOK.com. All right, nice. And that is The Witch's Grave and the Healing Rock of Sky Took. It's so spooky. I love it. I Good know. Job. Thank you. All right. Anything we need to say? Um, I guess just the usual. If you like us, yeah. if you like this episode, make sure that you rate and review on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure that if you have any suggestions about stories that you want us to cover, whether true crime or spooky, that you email those suggestions to us at spookyokipodcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to follow us, support us on Patreon. Patreon is where you get the extra spooky content. Woo! You'll see our investigations that we've done in the past. <laughs> <laughs> and also when we go out to do more at some point probably during the summer probably during the summer but you know uh, subscribe early so you get all the you got to catch up on the content you missed right so subscribe now so you can catch up and you'll be ready for our investigations over the summer exactly all right i think that's it I think that's it all right thanks guys for listening stay spooky stay spooky <laughs>